acres of paddy fields in all directions. Farmers work all day. and return home in the evening. There is something strange about them though. They leave all their tools and produce at their farm, not worried about it being stolen. Couple of hectares of natural forest amidst the farmlands is believed to be guarding this place. Who is this protector from the forests? 20 hectares of farmland. At the center lies 2 hectares of pristine natural forest. For the residents, their deity resides in this forest and protects their farmlands. They believe that if anyone stays back at their farm to guard their produce after dusk, the gods would get annoyed and scare them away. Whoa! The communities worship the forest gods, thanking them for guarding their farm. It is believed that the trees in the forest patch provide shade to the gods. The forest as a whole is the deity's home. Hence, the community has a self-imposed ban on felling of trees or even collecting dead wood. In general, the forest patch is left undisturbed. These are nothing but sacred grooves. At one end, a lot of resources are invested in creation and maintenance of formal protected areas. While at the other, community belief is all it takes to preserve natural forests and its biodiversity. Call Lothang in Meghalaya, Devvan in Himachal Pradesh. Devarai in Maharashtra, Devarakadu in Karnataka. India has the highest number of sacred grooves in the world. Informally, they are preserving natural ecosystems, albeit for spiritual and cultural reasons. Thus, sacred grooves can be used as a complement to the formal protected area network. This combination is a sustainable model of natural ecosystem preservation. However, sacred grooves in India are disappearing due to ambiguous property rights, market forces and changing beliefs. To understand the changes in cultural values of sacred grooves, I headed to Siddhapur which lies in Karnataka, India. Siddhapur has a heterogeneous mosaic landscape comprising villages, farmlands, forests and spice gardens. Amidst this landscape lies an archipelago of sacred grooves. The local communities have been protecting these sacred grooves for ages. These protectors recite numerous stories about their grooves. These grooves are an essential part of their life and their village. Beyond the spiritual significance, numerous ecosystem services are offered by these grooves to the entire landscape. The groove trees collect the monsoon rains and gradually release them in the summer season. The sacred grooves are home to different pollinators of the region. 
hornbills nest in these ancient trees. Sacred groves act as seed banks for enrichment of degraded secondary forests. The local communities state that the grove is the only cool place in summers. Yes, Thus, the uses derived from these grooves are numerous and the local community's beliefs have a major role in preserving these grooves. However, my study reveals that cultural values and beliefs are weakening across generations. The protectors of natural sacred grooves in Siddhapur are economically weak daily wage workers or subsistence farmers. These villages lack adequate health facilities, connectivity and property rights. Despite the hardships, they have managed to preserve rich natural ecosystems, albeit for cultural reasons. Thus, prior to engaging with these protectors to sustain their cultural values, it is only fair to ensure that they receive basic amenities. For the historic protection of pristine natural sites and the invisible services offered by them, valuation and payment of ecosystem services must be explored. Beyond economic support, basic recognition and appreciation of these cultural values is quintessential. In conclusion, formal means coupled with informal community-led protection is a sustainable model of nature protection. Diversity in flora, fauna and culture is the essence of India.